Hey traders, Jonathan here at ForexGone.com. Today's video is an educational lesson on trend trading. I've been getting a lot of questions about trend trading and a lot of confusion surrounds on how traders can can trade not only within trends but also within ranges. A lot of the market recently has been ranging and also a lot of sideways action and a lot of traders have been getting caught up and, and looking to identify trends when they've when trends haven't been there. This chart is a daily Euro US dollar. The first point I want to I want to touch on is the first mistake a lot of traders make is looking to play trends when they're not there. A lot a lot of traders are looking to identify trends on every market or every pair. What I mean by that is every chart they flick to they they look to ident identify a, a, tra a trend when they're not there. Okay, so this Euro US dollar chart there is clear. There's a clear leg down, okay? That's recent momentum, but it's not a trend. If we look to the recent left to right, we see clear sideways action, okay? So we see prices clearly move left to right. There's no uh, higher lows, higher highs. There's no clear trend from left to right, um, either, either, either direction, okay? There's no clear trend. There's just sideways action. It's a clear range, and this is what we're seeing in a lot of pairs. If I flick through a few of my charts, we're seeing this on most most charts in the forex moment in the forex market at the moment. This is a GBP US dollar. It's the same thing. We're seeing a lot of sideways action on most pairs. Okay. Uh, flick to the uh, US dollar, Japanese yen, and this market was in. This was in a in a roaring. This was in a roaring roaring uptrend, but now we've gone into same thing in the last few weeks month or so we've gone into sideways action okay so getting back to that original point not every market is in is in a trend and actually more more often than not the forex market is, is ranging and it's moving sideways so the best thing you can do is learn to play these ranges okay learn learn the best methods to play these ranges because the majority of time price is in sideways action and price is caught in these box situations okay these are the trickiest markets to play, but if you can't play them, and if you, if you don't know how to play them, you're going to get caught. You do need you do need to know the techniques and the best way to play these range trading. However, as as we do know, the easiest markets to play are the, the range uh, the trend trading, and the best the best edge a trade can have is trading with the trend. Okay. And getting back to trend trading, if we move back to the first chart, there there are still markets in there are still markets and there are still pairs that are are, are trading are trend trading. So if you are a, a novice trader or you're just beginning, or even for those traders that just only want to trend trade, you can do it. You just have to be selective. Okay, so when you see these pairs that are sideways trading, you just have to be disciplined. And you just have to say. I'm not going to trade the markets that are doing sideways action. Okay, you just have to be selective and say I'm only going to trade the pairs that are showing clear, you know, clear left to right. They're, they're moving high highs, high lows, or lower lows and lower highs. Okay, so it can be done. You just have to be selective. The next question I get asked all the time is how far back should traders be looking, and at which trend should they be looking to trade? Should they be looking for the short term? swings and the short term trend or should they be zooming their chart right out and looking for the long term trend and the answer to that question depends on which method or system you are using okay if you are using price action and using our our forex school online method and price action you need to be getting on the short term method and the, and the short term swing you need to be getting on the on the next move you need to be getting on the next swing the reason you don't want to be getting on the long term, the long term uh, trend is because it's a waste of time. Uh, let me explain. Okay, what people often do is they zoom their charts out like this, okay, and they look for the long term, the long term trend, uh, for example, like this, okay. If you're looking to take large chunks out of the market, for example, like this, you're looking to take a large swing like this out of the market. You need to be prepared 
just, this is a daily chart, the euro, US dollar. You need to be prepared to sit in the market for three to six months to place 500 to 1,000 pip stops and and ride all of this out, okay? So if you're looking at these sort of trends, that that's fine. You can do that. That's that that's fine. That if that's your method, that's fine. And they're the sort of trends, these longest term trends you'll you'll be looking at. But that's a that's a completely different type of method. We're not we're not looking at these longer term trends, okay? We're not looking at these really long term trends because we're looking at day, you know, four, five, six days, two, three, four, five, six, six days. We're not looking at three, four, five, six months. And that's why we're not looking at these really long term trends and moves and we're not looking at five six seven hundred pip stops on on the daily on the daily chart even out to a thousand or more more pips okay we're looking at at the next swing we need to be getting on the next next swing okay for example you see this key level and this pin bar here okay we need to be getting on the next move okay so the next key level is here we are getting on the next move into the next key level so the next swing down so the next three days so we need to be getting on the next trend. So when we we need to be on the next trends move. We're not looking for the next month, two, three, four, five month monthly swing. We're on the next two, three, four, five days. So this is why the trend is so important and why it can be such a big edge. So if we have a two, three, four, five day swing this way, a swing, a swing, a swing. This is why it can be so important. Uh, for, especially for newer traders and they can put such a big edge in their favor by trading these obvious trends and just getting back in obvious logical pullbacks this can put such a big edge in their favor the next important point that traders often get stuck with and often get caught out is looking to higher time frame trends uh, looking to higher time frame trends they'll like moving to a weekly chart to look to a weekly t charts trend and then trading that trend on a daily or four hour chart it just simply doesn't work okay so for example going to the weekly chart here looking for the weekly chart whatever it is on this on this on this chart and then using that 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 trend on the four hour or daily chart it's a big no no don't do it there is so so many different trends that could happen on the four hour chart before one hour before one candle has it even even formed on the on the weekly chart you need to uh, to treat each candle on each time frame independently just before i finish this uh, tutorial i just want to finish off with the gold chart just just as one last example of how how you can get into obvious trades and logical trades this didn't end up happening, but it's just an easy example of how you can use use this method, and especially the new guys to get into trades. As we spoke about earlier in the video, this was moving down. I didn't end up getting into this trade because the price action didn't uh, didn't form out. But it's just an obvious example how how you can use this this method. Okay, now when we spot an obvious trend, we don't just spot the obvious trend and then set an order and get in we need a few more things we we need uh, we need a logical level and then we need price action to confirm now once we spot the logical level and we spot the price action uh, we spot the uh, trend we can use other time frames okay so we can this is the daily chart of gold okay so if I zoom in you'll notice that we had price was moving down and we had this bullish rejection candle this was showing support okay so price moved down showed support bounced high before bouncing through so if I clean that up and I'll put a support line there okay so this is where price had found support so we moved through we've got the downtrend in place price found support bounced higher and it broke back through okay so this is a support line so we move the support through so We've got the support line through there. Now at this level, once we knew uh, price had broken through, we knew this this level 
may hold as a new resistance, and this is where we could target as a trade uh, on either the daily chart, like we have, or this is also where we could start looking on the 8-hour chart, the 12-hour chart, the 4-hour chart, for trades to get short, okay? Now, as it happened, price formed a bearish rejection candle on the daily chart. Now, I saw this, but it just wasn't big enough, or it, it's a it's a not quite pin bar. It's just, I did see it, but it's just not big enough for me to take a trade, okay? So, it's it, this small bearish uh, rejection candle. I just wanted to bring it up to show you a, a logical example how next time when you see this pattern form out, uh, form, you can you can look for it and you know how to look for this same pattern. This is a very high probability pattern to work out. You target the lows, you tar target the lows, and it's a very high probability pattern. It's with the trend, and it's uh, and it forms in, in in the forex market time and time and time again. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn anything more about price action, anything at all, just jump on over to forexschoolonline.com. I look forward to talking to you soon.